Here's how to embed Python variables into a Flask web app. If you're confused with this code, the video down below explains it. Now for this example, let's say we don't want our web app to say hello world. Instead, we want it to say hello and then pull the name from a name variable. To do just that, Flask uses the Jinja2 template engine to render HTML files, which allows you to embed Python variables into the HTML. The first step in embedding a Python variable is inside the parentheses of render underscore template. I'm going to create a parameter called name and set it equal to a string containing Joe. Then in my HTML file on line 9, instead of it saying hello world, I'm going to change it to hello and then double curly braces name. The double curly braces is the Jinja2 syntax which allows us to embed the Python variable. And the variable name inside these curly braces is pulling from this parameter of name. Now when I launch the web app, it says hello Joe. And if I change name equal to Bill and refresh the page, it now says hello Bill. So just to recap, the double curly braces inside of our HTML file allows us to embed a Python variable. And the variable we put inside the curly braces comes from this render template parameter. Like and subscribe for more Python videos.